Okay, so we're going to get a tour of Dennis's teardrop trailer. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, let's start with the window right here. That's pretty neat. Is that something you put in there? Or that? No, they put it apart. Oh, wow. Check that out. It rolls back and forth. Dynamite. I've got oh, one in the toilet, really? too. Look at this, Lynn. Look at this. Look how they do it. You just twist it like that, and it closes the blinds. Yeah. It's built by the Amish in Ohio. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, now, first of all, you have to introduce yourself. Dennis L. Sasser. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hello. And you call this a... This a tab. A, a tab. Yeah, a T-A-B. And it's uh, 11 feet long. Yes. It's got 5 foot 9 inch interior space to stand up in. How tall are you? I'm 5 foot 10. Okay. I like this. I'm 5'9". Let's try it out. Get a shot. <laughs> Go on in. Okay, so tell me about it. Okay, so it comes fully equipped and I bought the interior package. Okay, I'm 5'9". Hey, it's I. I'm, I'll have to comb my hair later, but it's okay. <laughs> you like that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm going to move back here so you can tell me about okay, this stuff. Okay, so the, the length of the box is 11 feet. Yeah. It comes with a self-contained toilet. Yes. Uh, which is a wet bath, I'm which sure. I keep my solar system in and everything. Yeah. I dry everything in there, little poles and stuff. And a glass shower door. Oh, yeah, it's nice. And it, I don't use this. It de never pops off as I'm going through the desert yeah. with my four-wheel drive. And it comes with a 5,000 BTU air conditioner. Which must be plenty sufficient for this space. Oh, yeah. Well, you a, don't even need it because... And a fantastic fan, yeah. Oh, my God. It sucks the hot air out, lets yes, the cold air in. Yes, window comes with a blind that can be dropped. These are thermal pane. There's a half an inch of gas between them. Double pane, yeah, yeah. And uh, also, when you open them... And you have day shades. Yes. You know, I love that these go down to close instead of up to close. Right. Uh, this one goes right. down to close. Mine, you know, they're a double thing, but uh -huh. this is actually a couch in back. Yeah. That when it's kicked up with those yeah. backrests, it makes a wraparound salon with a table in the middle. Right. And yeah. the table is called a Lugan table that can be put into any position you want. Or you can take it out all together and there's wood slats that drop well, into the ridges. Well, I gotta look underneath yeah. that. See, how's that work underneath that? Yeah. Oh. It, it's got a bracket right here. Okay, and well, it's and got, I've got a, the matching bracket outside. A double leg, and then you can lock them. Oh yeah, it, yeah. I've well. got it tightened for travel, but now yeah. I want to loosen it so uh -huh. I can do that with it. Mm -hmm. And so when I sleep at night, as a single person, I just lay right here on the back. I leave it down. But if I want people to come in, I throw yeah. all this behind it because this is a couch that yeah, comes yeah. up and clicks. And the light that comes in here is unreal. And you've got cross ventilation. Oh yeah, yeah. all these windows open all the way up. Nice. And it's R12 insulation, the whole thing. And so, and it uses a Swedish Aldi heating system, which is radiant. Well, so you have like hot water heat? It's glycol that runs through pipes throughout the whole, it surrounds the whole trailer. Yeah, that, and it's got fins on it. That's what I have in my, motor, in my monocle. Yeah. Yes. And you can barely see them, they're yeah. right in there. Is there any kind of a fan on them or are they just no, radiant? No, no, it's just radiant. Yeah, mine, yeah. mine is the same thing, oh, it's got a little fan on it. Also. Well, you know, a fan might be uh, useful because it takes a while to, to warm the place up, you know, well, I without need, it. I need a fan because there's a lot more. You got a lot of space. A, a lot more airspace. Plus, I've got one, two, three, four, or five registers like that. Oh yeah, I've got this one. The whole back here. See where this little opening is? Yeah. That's a register that goes across it. And it comes out behind the shelf up yes, in there. Yes, it does, and it radiates around Ooh. your bed at night. Who builds these? The Amish in Ohio. They're called New Camp uh, Teardrop Trailers. Wow. You looked at them, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I almost bought one. Yeah. And there you got a glass covered two burners. So two burners. Too. What, yeah. what do you do for a voltmeter? Right there. Push the uh, first button. It came built in. Oh yeah, it's all built in. Built in. Okay. See, man, I'm surprised. Yeah. It's got 11.8. I need to put my solar panel out, yeah. but because I've got the fridge, I had it going on 12 volt all day. Yeah. 
and that draws it down. So you have a freestanding solar panel you put out, but it hooks into this, and yeah, you through get, the ZAMP you, you plug all, that I've got on the all outside. the monitors and stuff yeah. for that. Yeah, I've got a. Yeah, I had the kid over there gave me another ten gallons of water. I only yeah. needed five though, and the gray tank is empty, and the black is empty. Just it's got the water pump right here. Yeah. And Gen a full Jensen, Jensen stereo. It's good stuff. So it's a. Uh, they're quite well made. They are. Anyway, so in the TV, this is what I was telling you earlier. This is a high definition 19 inch television mm -hmm. hooked into the cable on the outside. The blue tape is only because it's got a, a light on it when it's off. Yeah. It was keeping me awake at night. I've got the same light. And I read on a forum to yeah. just put a piece of tape over it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it took care yeah. of it. Well, I got to quit uh, bragging about my uh, glass shower door and my diesel pusher. <laughs> you have to show me the last thing. What is my screen door? Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's me. Wow. Is this the coolest thing ever? It is. That's just, and it's pleated. Yeah. You just go like that, it's shut, the door. Uh, this yep. is, and I dragged this five miles through that desert yesterday out to those red rocks so I could camp beneath the, the giants. Yeah. And the moon last night and the stars that came out. New camp with the Aldi heating system. Yes. You know, there's a, there's a podcast I listen to. It's um, a guy with the road truck. Yeah. And he's always, that's one of, his, got, it's one of his sponsors. He's always talking about that. He's got floor heat. He's got a towel heaters. Yeah. There's three companies that have been buying these. Yeah. The Aldi heating system. Mm -hmm. New camp. Road Tech and, and Airstream. Yeah, Road Trek, yeah. The Road Treks put them in every one of the units because there's no fan. Mm -hmm. It's a box that's only right. this big that sits in the very back corner. Yep. And they pump glycol. So I called the company up and I said, I live in Washington. It's getting down in the 30s. I want to drain the water out. Can I run the heater? Oh, yeah, it has nothing. It's chambered. The box is chambered with three gallons of water on the water side and the glycol side is ran with a one propane element and mm -hmm. two 120 elements. You can turn one or two of the 120s or all three on at the same time. I Out here, I set it about 55, so when I get up in the morning, it's toasty okay.